Okay, so this is how you're going to do your magazine project. So we've gone out, we've taken a photograph. For this one, I'm going to use the picture of our model here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is crop the image. So I'm going to go over to my crop tool, and I'm going to do 8.5 by 11, resolution 150. I'm going to reposition this, move this down a little bit, and I'm going to leave some space up on the top for the name of the magazine that she's going to be in. Let me bring this down a little bit. Let's see. I think I'll go like that. I can move this over just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and crop. So um, zoom in is control plus and then the space bar lets me move it around when I'm in this view. So um, with this photograph um, I like the background in this photograph, but let's say it was something that was a little less interesting and you wanted to change it out. I'm actually going to bring in a background that's uh, of bricks, kind of an urban setting. So I'm going to select her and then remove the background that's here. The tool that I'm going to use is the pen tool. And the pen tool works best when you... It helps to be zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom in here and... I'm just going to work my way around here, making my selection. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to move along here and show you what it looks like when I'm done with my pen tool selection. Okay, so here I am. I've got the selection done. I'm going to bring it around and complete it. And then I'm going to right click, make selection. So now I have a selection. I'm going to go to this layer and duplicate it. Go to this one that's locked and trash it. Now I'm going to go to this selection and go select inverse. And then I'm going to just delete it with my keyboard. And that deletes the background. And I've got this one last little section that I'm going to go ahead and Select and remove using the pen tool. Go work my way through here real quick. Right click, make selection, and then just delete. Okay. Control D deselects, and then I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so there I've got my selection of her. Next thing I'm going to do is place in the brick wall background, give it a bit of a different feel. So this is a little bit small. I'm going to go ahead and scale it, make it a lot larger. Push return. Go back here. Now I need to put that beneath her. Okay. So there she is. Now I'm also going to go File, Place, and I'm going to bring in the logo for the magazine. So make this a lot bigger. Push Return. Now I'm going to need to rasterize this layer. Rasterize the layer with my wand, actually I'm going to change it over to my magic wand, I can select the white. If I turn off continuous, then it'll select all of those parts. I can delete this, and now I've got a good selection there. Okay. Now she's a little bit bright for that background, so I can go to her layer, and then go to my levels, control L, Brings up my levels. I'm going to darken her just a little bit so she seems to kind of match the setting just a little bit more. Okay, so going back to this one, I'm going to make her a little bit larger in this. So I'm going to go Control T on the layer of her. Oh, make sure I'm on that layer. And then hold Shift. And I'm going to scale her and make her a little bit bigger. And I'm going to have her cover just a little bit of that logo. I'm going to like how they do that a lot of times in magazines. And because I cut her out and she separated from this background, she's in front of that text. So 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my text tool and I'm going to create a caption for one of the articles. Let's call it All right, so um, let's go ahead and take this down a little bit. So uh, let's say I was away from this and I want to move. Um, I want to edit this text. If I go back to my text layer, click on it so that it's got that underline underneath it and highlight the whole thing, I can go back and I can change the text, change the color of it. Um, and let's say I want to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits in that opening a little bit better, maybe even a little bit smaller. So we'll have this one over here. Now, a way to make it pop out just a little bit more would be to add a drop shadow to this. Let's go to FX, and I can add a drop shadow. This one might be a good example for having a, a bevel or maybe an inner shadow. I like how that's looking, it's giving a little bit of separation. Maybe I'll even make that a bit, little bit bigger later. Okay, so um, uh, next I'm going to go file and place. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to get my barcode. And so you can scale this down, make this a lot smaller. It's going to go over in this corner. It just fits really well over there. So that's where I'm going to place that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add another article title. Um, I've changed up my text, and you can change the size of your font by going here. Make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go 0 0.30. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually change the color of my text. I'm going to use the eyedropper and sample from uh, this, the magazine logo. And then I'm going to go back to my text tool. So we'll make one that is. hair that makes you happy. Okay. Now I can use the arrow keys to reposition those. Now again I'm going to go to the effects and I'm going to add a drop shadow on this one. And then let's see what else I'd like to put on it. An inner glow. Uh, color overlay. I think I'll just go with that. Okay, so hair that makes you happy. All right, I just need one more article in here. Okay, so I'm just going to click over here. And for this one, we're going to do... Oh, what happened? We are... So this is a good example. The text layer is beneath her. Let me bring it up there, and now you'll see it. Okay. amazing new outfits. Maybe with this one uh, I'll select it and I can change it. I can either center it or I can do a left justified go to the move tool. So I may need to change how... I may want to resize things. Maybe make her a little bit smaller, move some of these articles around. Okay so I ended up just kind of changing the way that I laid that out. And again, I'm going to add a drop shadow to that. And let's look at doing the bevel effect. I like how that looks. Okay. So right now I'm looking at it. I've got all my elements. I have my title for the magazine. I've got my three article captions. She's there. I've cut her out, changed the background. I put in my CPU. All the core things are there. So now I'm going to look at it and just be like, is there, are there other things that I can do? I know that as I look at the selection of her, there's a few things that I could clean up with that. So I'm going to come back into this section here with my pen tool and just make a little tighter selection. There's a little bit of white on her denim here. So I'm just going to do my selection, right click, make selection, and then delete. And that cleans that up just a little bit. So I like how that, still got a little bit there. Maybe I'll just go to my brush here. I get a hard edge brush. And whoops. Go over here, go to my eraser tool, 
with my eraser tool, if I go right here and then hold shift, it makes a straight line. And maybe it goes like that. And I can see up with her hair, same kind of thing up here in her hair. Um, you just come in here and clean this up just a little bit. And then as I took a closer look, I realized that there was a little bit of lens flare from when this picture was actually taken. So I can go back to the layer of her, go to my clone stamp, make my brush a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to push the Alt button to sample from here. And I can just clone stamp over here. And I'm just doing little minor things to help improve the overall look of it. So this is the overall look, and as I look at it again, I think I may even add a drop shadow to her. And you can see it just creates a little bit of separation from her. Add a little distance to that. You can see on the background, we just see a little bit of a separation. And if I think about it, maybe I'll blur these bricks just a little bit. If I go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, so that might be a little bit more than I want. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just create that feel of depth of field. And so there we have it. Um, you've got all the layers. All the requirements are met. And uh, that is how it is looking. There is your magazine cover.